All right, welcome everybody to the first Adane mod video I'll be posting to my channel. Uh, me and Chiska, my co-commentator for the tournament, decided to do this game just impromptu, so say hello. Hello, people of the world. Hello, people of the Adane mod. That's two. <laughs> and everybody else who wants to watch. We're, we're all inclusive here. Okay, so I, we'll just get this going here and uh, see what happens. Right. We're playing random. Uh, we're not playing with the tournament patch. Just a note. Because that sucks, apparently. It doesn't suck. It's too impromptu, and I don't want to learn it because a lot of the changes won't be in the final version. So. All right. Although the siege changes do suck. Well. That they, specific they do, they do make part. Siege a bit of a yeah. Apparently, people like overpowered siege. I can't understand why. So to speak. It's pretty easy to ram rush. I, 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 I like the battering rams, you know. Nice and spammy. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If you're distracting somebody with a weak force and their army's away from their base, you just rush ten rams into their base. Good game. It's over. That's that's just overpowered. Especially into a especially on a camp map like this. Yes. <laughs> I really don't think I'm going to last too long in this game. <laughs> you should give yourself more credit. I got one of my factions that I'm not so uh, not so quick with, not as aggressive. Really? All right. I've got my. I'd rather say nothing. I might <laughs> give too much away. <laughs> well, you know I'm not an aggressive faction, so you know I'm not Rohan, which is my best faction. Right. Yes, so that would explain your Theoden uh, profile picture on the modding union. And YouTube. Uh, oh, YouTube as well. <laughs> yes, Theoden is uh, my favorite character on Lord of the Rings. The book version, specifically. I don't like the movie version that uh, Peter Jackson made where he's all like, he doesn't trust anybody and he loses hope. That was never right. Theoden. No. It is definitely a lot harder to play and commentate at the same time. Yes. I've noticed. You have to split your attention, your focus. Yes. It really messes with me, actually. Like I said, in the game I played there yesterday, I uh, there were long periods of silence because I, I was just focusing on uh, on the game rather than commentating. So. All right. I might grow silent when I'm getting my butt handed to me, so just bear with me. <laughs> I might be I might grow silent when I'm handing your butt to you. All right, then we're going to have a few moments of silence. <laughs> the most annoying thing about the fact that I'm playing, oh I shouldn't say this because then I'll give myself away. No, you, you can say it. I'll give you advice. And no. And... No, I'm good. <laughs> Pretty bad stuff. Well, this map's kind of interesting because it gives you two free farms, but then you gotta creep the other ones. Yes. What Wait, the hell? Where did those goblins farms. come from? I think oh. some goblins that you killed their lair and they ran over, they started attacking one of my farms. <laughs> That's so funny when that happens. Yeah. A little annoying for me. <laughs> oh, I just laugh most of the time. <laughs> These wargs must Whoa. die. Yes. <clears throat> die, wargs. Alright. You, please. <coughs> well, uh, there's those silent moments we were talking about. Well, it wasn't that long. You cut it. It's a lot easier to commentate when you've got a co-commentator. At least in... Uh, yes in a uh, focus intensive game like this. Yes. So quiet. <laughs> Not sure if my humming's coming through for you. I know it well on the video. Um, no. I'm not hearing anything, so you're in luck. Yeah, because I, I turned myself down in uh, TeamSpeak, but I haven't turned myself down in the recording, so... Oh, right. I can hum the Lord Silly. of the Rings tune. 
and you can't hear it, but the recording will pick it up. <laughs> oh, that, that sly of you. Not, not on purpose. Just something that happened. This map is actually pretty great for the faction that I'm playing. Really? Right. Yep. Well, uh, I wouldn't know. I'm not so strategically advanced. Well, you get better over time. I've spent like a, the better part of a year playing this game really heavily competitively, so... Wow. It's just something you pick up. Hmm. <clears throat> I, I haven't uh, ever played the beta, or 3.81 rather. I, I started when 4.0 released. Really? Yeah, and I put the um, all the work into it and I was a beta tester in like two weeks. Whoa, man, you must be a real strategist. Well, it's not. it wasn't the strategy, it was about, um, you know, me doing the, all the translation work. That's what got me on the beta team. Oh, right. So that long post you posted in the yeah. uh, forum. Yep. Did, did you post that when you were already a beta tester or not? No, that's what got me in as a beta tester. Oh. Was doing so all that, close. all the translation work just because I didn't like the, all of the errors, you know, that bugs me, so. Yes. Well, I'm sure many Dane fans are grateful. Well, I, you know. I, for one. Because I'm not saying Germans are bad faction. Uh, I mean, <laughs> oh <laughs> shit! Advantage. Damn it! No, I, that's the worst possible thing that could happen. Um, well, uh, yes, exactly as I was thinking. This <laughs> will work to my great advantage. Yes, it probably will. Actually, you got the spam. Yeah. Well, and I'm I did not start with cavalry, so I cannot stop that spam. Yes, spam. spam. Exactly. <laughs> exactly what I was doing. You weren't spamming as Mordor? No, no, of course I was. That's my... Um, yes, I... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm so fucked. Ooh, you already have fiefdom. Now, I never go for the... Um, There's two starts as Gondor. You either go for an infantry start with the signal fire, or you go for a cavalry start. Cavalry start right. absolutely destroys Mordor. Utterly. So quiet. That's a shame you didn't do it cavalry then. That's what I was saying. That's the thing I didn't say that would have given me away is I have no means of scouting you. If I had been able to scout you, I would have seen you. Oh. Oh. I still have a feeling I am going to lose this battle. Well, it, it'll be a very close loss if you do. Ungol is always good. Although, uh, one thing you can do, I notice you've got orc pikes there. I suggest you not make those in the future. Uh, I think I wanted to use them for the wolves. I uh, totally forgot about them. Uh, it's I think it's better to uh, just use your scout hero for creeping. You can even creep trolls with your scout hero. Yes, I've done that in the past. It's quite easy to do, actually. Most people don't know about it. Stop killing my farm! Those are innocent peasants! Stop killing my free orcs. I spent good money on them. <laughs> <laughs> or rather, on the barracks. <laughs> that, that, that hit my funny bone. That, that cracked me up. <laughs> See, I thought there were Ungol in there, so I thought I was fucked. But you didn't you didn't have any Ungol units yet. Yes. Fortunately not. Fortunately for me. Okay. That tower, I'm telling you. The tower oh, the tower's helping a little bit. Leave my farm alone. Well, you depends. can't you can't have my farm. And thank you. Well, I just gotta roll with what I got now. Uh, I might I might have enough of a lead in terms of um, upgrades and stuff. I might be able to survive the spam. Oh, you gotta. Oh, by the way, something that might help you a little bit. Uh, if you press Shift and click, you'll queue up five units at a time instead of one when you're recruiting. So you can just Shift click four times and queue up 20 orcs. Oh, that explains the YouTube 
Ah, now I see. <laughs> Helps a little. Just a little. Yes. I always see on YouTube people recruiting the orcs so fast and then I just repeatedly, repeatedly click Y or uh, just click on the orc icon. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit, that's gotta die. Excellent. It's time for you to die on Gall Barracks. What? I, I built. Oh, that's right. I built the queen. That's expensive. I am going to lose this tournament. <laughs> First round. I don't know about first round. We'll see. Depends on who you. If you get maxed up with Skeever Boy, you're fucked. Hopefully, I'm against the new today. Well, I, I don't know who a lot of the players are. There are a lot of people in there who I've never played with or never heard of. I've never even seen them post on the forums. So. Really? Yeah. Well, I hope they are the noobs. We'll just have to see. In just have like to three wait hours. and see. Alright. You upgrade. You upgrade. And you have an upgrade. And you have an upgrade. Turning into Oprah Winfrey. Upgrades, yeah. Yes, I'm upgrading my orcs as well. <laughs> With some banner carriers. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> Stronger orcs is never a good thing. The only good orc is a dead orc. What the? Such a sly player. Flanking me. Right. Oh, hi there, Gorbag. Dirty move. One thing you can do as well, if, if you destroy the farm fast enough, you'll get half the money back. The value goes down as it gets damaged, but. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's get you. Oh, crap. That's Nazgul. Alright, let's see who's going to win this battle. Oh, you're going to win. Ah! <laughs> uh... Pippin, run! Nazgul, run. Whew! Uh, that, that cloak, baby. It's very useful. Gentlemen, I need you. I need you now. More than ever. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. I, I never like to lose my starting battalions. I've had several games where I have my two starting Gondor soldiers at level 5 with upgrades like game. Really? You're two starting battalions? Yep. That's impossible with Mordor, but with Gondor and yes. uh, and with the dwarf overhaul that's coming in 4.3, it's going to be doable. Yes. Well, uh, you're a beta tester, right? So have you played us in Ladus? No, that that's not out for us yet. We only get to play um, the factions that are going to be releasing in the ne in the next patch. So in this case, Angmar and the dwarf overhaul. Oh, I see. And then you know, just move on from there. And so right. when a patch is going to be focused around Rivendell as the main feature, then we will get Rivendell. Um, do you think uh, Rivendell will be released after Angmar? I don't know. Uh, I'm hoping for Misty Mountains, because I think they're going to have the coolest build system. Like, yes, I can imagine that as well. Build everywhere is pretty pretty overpowered. You can really just infest the whole map if you're good at, mu at macro. Yes. Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah, my play hasn't um, siege, huh? Thanks for telling me yeah. you're at the outpost. What? You're at the outpost. That's the only place you could build some siege. I was actually thinking of building your Guldur on the outpost and then making the siege works back into my base. Oh, that's interesting. But that's probably not a very strategic. Well, for for my base, I usually do. Um, I do when I'm mortar. I do two orc pits and then four eco buildings if it's a cam map. All right. 
anything for a whiff of old Toby. <laughs> Kill that black cloaked emo motherfucker. Oh, you forgot to dismount. Look that, just wait. Where is Beragon? To find him. Yeah, he blends in rather well with the Citadel Guard. Yes. Oh, Boba. Yes. Oh, well, that's a bit. That's a bit. So quiet. Go, Pip, and go. I love Pippin's level 10. It's brilliant. Oh, not my nice sword. That's a bit. Well, you well played. Ah, Nazgul. Oh. Mm. Mm. You sound a little miffed. <laughs> Here comes that silent moment. I'm doing all right. There's actually been very few silent moments thus far. I'm pretty happy with our commentary. Did you kill any of my Citadel Guard or do I got three? You killed one of them, you bastard. Really? I you killed them. Merciless bastard. That's an achievement. I feel pretty good. <laughs> Sorry, I use profanity a lot. It, it's not um, anything particularly serious for me. Right, I can understand. I, like, I'm not offended by profanity. It's very hard to offend me, so some people find my speech to be somewhat. Uh, oh. All right, here comes those upgrades you were talking about. <laughs> Actually, the upgrades I was talking about was on farms. That's how I got the money to get those oh, upgrades. Oh, really? Yep. That would make sense. Damn it. There we go. <laughs> that archer support's really going to tear me up. Ow. Ah, nice. There we go. Oh, wrong button. Finally. Alright. You. And you, gents. Help out. All right. Oh, man. That Sheila got fucked. <laughs> yes. Well, those were tower guards, so I'm not surprised. Yeah, tower guards are pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, crap. Oh, wait, those are my summon guys. Okay, they're good. You're good to go. That tower. Yeah, Baragon's summoning ability is so good. It's so good. <laughs> Just use it on a lone tower. You can massively improve. It, like, if you uh, get him early game on Forge of Eisen, you can use it on, like, a farm. Oh, crap, that's got to go. No, oh, it can stay. Come, Faramir. You are needed. Faramir. Huh. You don't sound very happy that I've got Faramir here. Well, no, no, I'm, I'm very happy. Just going <laughs> to tear my units apart. <laughs> Ow. Oh, you trampled a Citadel Guard and lost half your health. Oh my god, that was horrible. Oh. Yeah, alright. Oh. I feel a little bad about that one. <laughs> I really do. Well, you should. Yes. Oh. Well, luckily I have a stable income. And I'm spamming those orcs. Alright, that building must fall. Occupy both blocks. He's like recruits in the free orcs. Destroy that damn fortress! It's poisoning the crap out of you! What is dealing? Is that? Ah, sneak past me. No one. I'm, uh, you know, I'm certain 
This dog will do for just poisoning my own units as well. No, it's not. Well, I just see my numbers dwindling, so I wouldn't be surprised. Well, that's because it's a bunch of free orcs versus upgraded tower guards and citadel guards. That would make sense. That'll do it, as, as the Grey Goblin said. That'll do it. All right. That's cool. Jenks, Three. you owe me a pop. We said all right at the same time. <laughs> oh, God. This is rough. Infantry, infantry start is so bad versus Mordor. Yes, and then in the late game, if you destroy my Dolgul Dur, then I am screwed. Yeah, late game, I obviously trump you. But if you mm. get the orc spam off early, then you can completely shut me down, prevent me from having any map control very easily. That's something I'll have to work on. But I think it's a, a good way to gather some experience playing against a beta test. Well. And I think I'm doing pretty well. I feel quite impressed with myself. Yeah, but, well, like I said, with Mordor, infantry start for me, that, that's so difficult. <laughs> All right. Aragorn is here. The king will lead us to victory. Uh, a what? Aragorn. Oh, yeah, Aragorn's here. Yes, well, um, I have Sauron. Yeah, you got weak, pathetic Sauron. He's going to get his ass kicked by Ar Aragorn. Um... Pippin could probably kick his ass. Wait until I get the ring. I turned the ring off. You can't get the ring. Oh, uh, really? That's. Uh, and now I see why you're so profound in playing. Because you like to play dirty. I'm not playing dirty. To an extent, you are. How am I playing dirty? Against the noob like me, turning ring heroes off. I but that's the tur that's, that's what they're doing in the tournament though, that's tournament rules. Yes, but that's tournament rules and we're playing a standard 1v1. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, if the ring was on, then I would have just gone for cavalry and I would have hunted gone to down Gollum down and got it myself quickly. Alright. Um, Where well, did that Nazgul go? There he is. Aragorn, throw a knife at that son of a bitch. He's, he's running away. Yes he is. Where is Aragorn? Yeah, he blends in quite well. We are units blending quite well. Everyone looks the same. All the orcs Except for Gandalf. Gandalf sticks out like a sore thumb. Yes. Especially when he's like it. It's like, oh, here I am. Come and Morgul blade me. <laughs> Pippin, kill those orcs. Tower guards. Kill that. Nazgul will fall back. Yeah, once Aragorn's out, Nazgul better fall back. Yes. There are a few heroes who can take Aragorn in one versus one. He beats Celeborn. Oh, yes. He's a hero slayer, man. The only one I know of that can kill him is Eowyn once she's been leveled up. Yes, yeah, so level 10. She wins level 10 versus level 10 against almost any hero. She even does a lot of damage to Sauron ring form. Uh, Gandalf beats her because of lightning sword. All right. A nice base you got there. What base? I have more than one. Oh, you took that outpost. Okay, thanks for telling me. Oh, well. How do you know I'm not bluffing? Uh, I don't, but I'm gonna go check anyways because I got the money to take it if you ha if you haven't. Ah. Well, I have Dolgul Dur there, so you better back off, or else you will probably die. Probably. Mm. How many level five tower guards is that? Oh, they're all level four. They're almost level five. Wow. Are you trying to taunt me? Maybe. Oh, almost forgot about that farm. Your farm or my farm? Your farm. <laughs> Hello there, slave farm. I think it's time I liberated your workers. This is one of those in instances where if you destroy, you'll get half the money oh. back. Had a slave farm. Hmm. <laughs> All right. 
I'm just going for a Euro Rush now. You're going for a what? A Euro Rush. What's Roman a Euro Rush? Legal style. I need command points. Oh, you want a piece? No, no, not really. Well, then I suggest you back I'm up. Back, I'm pulling back. Don't attack me. <laughs> Actually, I think I am going to attack you because I don't have enough command points. That would be unwise. Unwise for whom? For um, you, both of us. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> Sons of Gondor, of Rohan, my brothers, I see in your eyes the very fear that would take the heart of me. I don't know the rest of the speech, so I'm going to end it there. Ah, so you have Boromir. No, that's Aragorn's speech. Oh, what, really? Yeah, that's his speech at the end of the um, Return of the King. Oh, I see. Interesting. Arrow volley! Can you survive the blast of Sauron? Sauron. Well, blast me and let's find out. Alright. Hey! That's the blast I was talking about. Well, you could have done it on the guys who would have survived it. That's bad etiquette. Heal up, lads. Let's get in there! This is it, what? Yes. Throw a knife at Sheila. You get tunnel to Aragorn. Oh man, Sheila got wrecked by Elida and an arrow here. What the hell are you doing all the way over there, Pippin? Oh yeah, that's right, I told you to go over there. Just stay there, Pippin. Nah, he moved back. He's good to go. Boromir, you are called. Hold the hold, you are called. Hey! What the hell are you doing back there? I'm destroying the door I'm That is not nice. Well, that's yes. fine. I'm going to destroy your base. But that's the good thing. That is why I like the patch which the LPS Cup gave. Because they give a major boost to Siege. Which makes it OP. Siege flanks are awesome. That's alright. I almost got level 10 Aragorn. That affects me badly. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I would like to say not at all, but then I would do that. Well, here's some prime proof of just how effective a ram rush can be. Right here. I'm engaging your army. Damn ram spam. It really does dry one's voice to commentate while playing. I'm doing okay. Ram spam. I like that. Ram spam. Yeah, that's what I call it. Mm, you should have spammed those bombs. Alright, that's really kind of annoying me now. Please stop. Oh, I have to destroy the camp. Alright, now I'll stop. You don't have Dol Guldur down there, you liar. <laughs> well, it was worth a try to bluff you. That's alright. That means I can just kill the troll and get the money. Ah, it was a troll. Hmm. Yes, I'm completely aware of that, but all according to my plan. My master plan of defeating you. <laughs> well, that was a good move with the Rams. That was a good move. Thank you. Yes, it's called the Rams.
the accursed ram spam of Mordor has taken many lives this day. Well, if you spam the, the goats of uh, Iron Heels, aren't they called rams as well? Yeah, but they're a different kind of ram. You can't really spam a hero unit. Well, they aren't even a hero unit. They're not. They're not so great. Well, they're limited to only three. Well, yeah, but they're not a hero unit. Heroic units have 3,600 health at level one. Well, all right. That would make sense. So what would you call the Iron Heels Ram Lines? Elite Cavalry. Elite Cavalry. All right. That sounds good. Miss South. All right, men, you are called back to the north, where the Orc Hordes are overwhelming your brothers. What brothers? You peasant brethren in the farm? Yep. That's the one. Taking forever to bring down one farm. That is disappointing. Uh, what you want to do, you might have noticed um, how I clump my units beside the farm. Yes. That uh, makes it a lot easier to deal damage. Oh, all right. Hmm, getting some nice tips from a beta test. Oh, I always give all the tips I can when I'm playing with somebody. I consider that common courtesy. You know, those farms were the only source of command points that I had. And you really? have destroyed them. And I Excellent. do not appreciate it. it works to my great advantage. It's alright, my invincible army is almost back. It's slow, but shit, but it's coming. Uh, uh -huh. you. Production, production, production. You, command points. Move, man, move! <clears throat> we must reclaim the north. We cannot let Dol Guldor rise again. Oh, like you read my mind. Uh, yeah, I've got psychic powers. That's my secret. Well, that would make sense. So you're not beating me in a fair game. No, I'm just. I just know exactly what you're going to do every time you're going to do it. Uh, now I don't feel so bad anymore. <laughs> Fourth soldiers of Gondor. God oh. damn it! Half of them didn't move when I. T I'm sorry for the profanity. Half of them didn't move when I told them to move. That's really frustrating. Another dirty flank of you, I see. Front and you... huh. Oh, Baragon level 10. Summon. Sauron is dead. Heroes. Ah, that's my weakness, your heroes. Yeah, I've got all my heroes. Just about all my heroes at this point. Except for Gandalf. Faramir, train those men. Train the men in the middle of a battle. I wouldn't say that's wise. Well, he just did it. Train before the battle. I trained during battle. Well, that's a bad way to train. I would say that's a hands-on way to train. Because my guys are so badass that they can train and fight at the same time. Oh. Oh, for the love of God. All right, your base is time to die. I've had enough of this ram spam. Oh, it must live. It must live. This ram spam is too much. I can't. I can't handle it. I'm going to have an aneurysm. It's time for you to die. <laughs> I was trying to be nice. I was trying to be nice. But you want to ram spam me. Broke down my doggle do it. You call that nice. Well, it's not your main base. Fair enough. And why should your song this accursed ram spam. Alright, Ben. They've got fire arrows in their towers. It's gonna burn like hell. But you are sturdy enough to withstand them. I doubt that. I have 350 command points. I've got 1482. And most of them are level 5 with upgrades. Really? Wow. 
See, I don't like don't. siege. I don't like to use siege on camp maps. I don't like to use siege against evil factions. I only use it when I absolutely must use it. I think it's a lot Let's more see. fun to have an army destroy base. Yes, but it also takes uh, a lot longer. Oh, we'll see about that. Uh, that does not sound good. <laughs> well, uh, I guess if you have upgrades, it's... And, uh, level five. Alright, alright. <laughs> you, you're gonna make mincemeat of my base. We'll see. You'll take a lot of... You'll, you'll take a lot of me with you. Alright, here it comes. Let's do this. There is Aragorn. Where is Nazi? There he is. I don't know. Yeah, you did pretty good. That ram spam, I didn't like the ram spam, but it's a good strategy. It's just yeah. my personal taste, I don't like it. But other, you know, there's nothing wrong with uh, with it as a strategy. I personally do not like it, but. Another thing you can do as well, you don't have to keep the tower after you apply the fire arrows, you can destroy it and replace it really? with an economic building. Yep. Wow. Gonna do something a little bit unusual here instead of getting army of the dead like you should always get first I'm gonna you don't really have much of an army I'm gonna so I'm gonna get roll here instead ah uh, your favorite thing okay. oh I didn't never mind I can't get it because I didn't get cloud break uh, army of the dead then. yep they don't they do any damage nice. to buildings but at least I can protect my base from a surprise ram spam if you if you should try it yeah, it's Army of the Dead, those rams. This is the oh, worst okay. use of Army of the Dead ever. Don't, viewers, don't do this. This is so bad. This is so bad. Well, um, not that bad. You saved your base. Do you have any units in your base? No, I do not. Ah, uh, well then it's not such a bad investment. Baragond has fallen. Annihilation. Kill that damn citadel. Barbier's oh, gonna die. Citadel. <laughs> How long does all of you did love? It's not too long. Yeah, and it's actually really slow too. Uh, it's best used defensively, or you can catch um, people between your main army and the army of the dead. But uh, it, it's oh. not good to try and chase people down with it. That's a really poor use of army of the dead because they will most times be outrun. Uh, Alright, well, good game. Game. You as well. You probably took that outpost to be cheeky, didn't you? What outpost? I had no idea they were outposts on this map. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, once tower guards get upgraded and leveled up, it's just so hard to kill them. They might actually be tied in strength by a certain unit in the dwarf overhaul. I'm not going to talk too much about it. Alright, not to reveal too much about the new update. Yeah, because I don't know what I'm not allowed to talk about. Alright. Oh yeah, you took the outpost. Of course you took it. Alright, all that's left is Faramir. Faramir, lead the troops to victory. Really? Did all your he other heroes die? Yep. Hmm. Oi. What? No, that is a waste. That was a bad investment. Work. Conservative. One twins. See if you can catch up with my witch king. 
That's your Witch King? Oh, it is. Yes. That is no normal Nazgul. Makes it all the more valuable, doesn't it? Oh, well. Wait. Wait, are you going to take my base down at the south? Uh, why don't you have a look? I would like to reclaim it now. My lord, I would speak. Let me know if you need my help. Alright, bring it. See how well we do against Morgul orcs, who are supposed to be heavily upgraded. Faramir, lead the men. Uh, well, wait, where is that freaking debuff happening from? Uh, the, the fortress. Oh yeah, that's right. Ten percent less on. All right, well, good game. Yes. Oh my God. Oh, how much money do you have? A four K. I'm just kidding, I have 400 now. Yeah, I saw you reclaim the camp, by the way. I know that you did that. Oh, that depends. Which camp are we talking about? Your original base. How do you know I haven't captured... Oh, that's right. 1v1. <laughs> oh, Well, I really appreciate your tenacity. There's so many people who just give up once they lose their base, and it's really annoying. Well, uh, it, this is a YouTube video. Your tenacity is annoying in a different kind of way, a more enjoyable way. Well, I can see. I, I've played against... Well, you see, my friends are really inexperienced with this game, and uh, they consider me a god in this game. <laughs> but, when I play against more profound players like you, I am the noob. Well, but I wouldn't I call you a noob. noob. I would say you're medium tiered. Medium tiered. Oh. Yeah, you're mid level. I feel so special now. Thanks, man. <laughs> no problem, bro. Oh, All right. Wrong way, wrong way. Oh, it doesn't they matter. The orcs are coming from both sides. As a king. Faramir? It's strange that I've got a good income. I only have one, two, three, four, level three farms. Well, that would make sense. Nice arm. Talking about me? That is. Oh, that's just a lot of help to those poor orcs. <laughs> and Aragorn's level 10. Well, now it's GG. Well, it's been GG for a little while. Alright. Ah, uh, Lone Tower. We're good. Play a critic. We've got work. Yeah, it's, if you don't have any Nazgul to debuff all the leaderships I'm giving my troops, it's just so bad. But um, as I was saying, uh, talking about my newish friends, I know exactly how you feel. I've been in your shoes for quite a while until you get my friends. But uh, really, trust me, I've never lost a game against them, and it actually feels pretty good to lose. Well, yeah, it, it really, I know it, it, I have an exact similar simu situation because my friends, Haman, uh, Sawman, Raddick, and a couple of other people used to be noobs, and I used to win all the time. I would win 2v2s, my partner would kill, get killed, and I killed both the enemies. So I know, I do know how it feels to win all the time, and it gets very, very repetitive and boring. Yes. It's good if you have a nice challenge. Yep. Good game. Well played. <laughs> you too, Cryptic. Now I uh, picked up a few tips. <laughs> Next time I'll win you. Yeah, we will see. We will see moving forward. And you'll pick up a lot of stuff from the tournament as well, I imagine. All right, well. Past the first round. Yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, stay awesome.